guys, it's Mackenzie and welcome back to my channel Cooking for Health. If you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe and click that notification bell so you never miss a new video. Today, I made a cake and it fell apart. So we're making cake pops! For this recipe, you will need chocolate chips. Don't forget to make sure that they're 70% or higher so the good ingredients outweigh the bad. You will also need icing and cake. I use chocolate cake and chocolate icing, but you can use whatever kind of cake and icing you would like. I will be leaving a link in the description box down below to my gluten-free, dairy-free, and refined sugar-free chocolate cake recipe. And in that video, you can also find out how to make dairy fruit and refined sugar-free chocolate icing. You also need treat sticks and a block of styrofoam to help stand your cake pops up. We are going to start by breaking our cake up into little tiny fine crumbs in our mixing bowl. Here you can tell that my cake is pretty moist since I can form it into a ball and it still kind of holds its shape and that just means we won't be needing a lot of icing. So then we're just going to add like one spoon of icing in at a time and we do this just to make sure that it's not too wet and gooey inside the cake pop. You'll know when you've added enough icing when your mixture can form a ball and it holds its shape pretty well but it's also still crumbly at the same time. I only ended up needing two spoonfuls of icing, but that's because I had a really moist cake to begin with. You might need more or less icing depending on how moist your cake is. Here I have melted my chocolate in the microwave, and now I'm just gonna take some of my cake mixture and roll it into a little ball about the size of a ping pong ball, and then I'm gonna dip my treat stick in some of the chocolate and just poke that in and put it on the baking sheet. And then I'm just gonna repeat this process with the rest of my cake mixture. Now we're going to go and put this in the freezer for about 20 minutes. Here I have my cake pops that have just come out of the freezer and I'm just going to dunk them in my melted chocolate until they're fully submerged and then just kind of twirl them around to get any excess chocolate off and then I'm just going to poke the stick right into the styrofoam block to hold it in place while the chocolate is solidifying. The moment of truth. Mmm. Mmm. Those are delicious, Mackenzie. Excellent job. Mmm. Thank you for watching my video. If you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe and click that notification bell so you never miss a new video. See you next time! <laughs>